Hi, my name is Jeanette and I want to thank you for joining me on the channel Jane Reads. So this video is going to be a vlog of our road trip. I don't know how many days we'll be in this vlog because we are going to be gone for 13 days. So depending how much video I get, this may be split up into multiple parts, but you'll know that from the title on the video. I don't know this at this moment in time. It is Labor Day Saturday and we have driven, we're just almost to the border crossing from Ontario into Buffalo, New York. Um, we're just getting gas before we cross and my husband just stopped and told me that gas was more, our car needed more than we thought we needed, but that's fine, whatever, that's just the way it is. So yeah, so not much has happened so far. We left about 9.30 this morning, it's now noon, and we're just getting ready to cross the border. So hopefully the border is a good crossing. So the border crossing was amazing. It looks busy, but it only took us 20 minutes to get across. We survived the day on the road and we have now checked into our hotel and this room is beautiful. Like just so much space. So obviously we've moved stuff in. Like, isn't that, that counter is kind of cool. Then like a desk and nice lights. Like. Hey. Hi. <laughs> oh, I'm liking this room. Okay, the bathroom's nothing too exciting. Just your very basic bathroom, but out here, very nice. It is day two now, and we stayed in West Virginia overnight. Then we drove back to Washington, Pennsylvania, and took in the Pennsylvania Trolley Museum, so I took some video of that. And now we're back on the road, and we're heading towards West Virginia to stay for night. To stay overnight. <laughs> um, Basically, we stayed in West Virginia last night because it was a cheaper hotel and it was only 15 minutes from Pennsylvania. Um, so yeah, so how has it been so far? Actually, really good. And yes, he's actually here. I didn't show him at all yesterday, but he is, he's the driver. <laughs> That's all I'm good for. <laughs> More than that. He's also the money carrier. Oh. <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, in that case. So, we're just driving along right now. Nothing too exciting. We'll check in in a bit. Wow, we're on a trolley. So, we are at the Pennsylvania Trolley Museum, and we had to take a trolley from the visitor center to the actual museum where they have all the trolleys stored and displayed. So now we're just walking around with our tour guide and he's telling us about the history of some of these trolleys and we get to see and go inside certain ones. And yeah, that's it was really interesting. And then after this part of the tour, we took the trolley back to the visitor museum and then got on a different trolley and took a four mile scenic ride through some of the streets. So that's what we're doing here. So we visited the trolley museum and we went on this trolley. That trolley. <laughs> and now we are driving through West Virginia. We stopped at a scenic overlook at by Birch River, West Virginia. And then we have a sample of some of the roads and it, a lot of them curved and bend so much. And this was the good portion of the road. We went on much worse. So it is day three now and we did not record the hotel last night. Um, basically, we got to the hotel last night and we were just done. Uh, we were following our directions to the hotel and it took us on some road that doesn't seem like it should be a road. It's very narrow, kind of one lane. We did 
see one car come towards us, so we had to pull off and wait for them to pass so that we could keep going. Like it was just, yeah, our nerves were dead <laughs> by the time we got to the hotel. And it was just a very standard, basic room, nothing too special about it. So yeah, so now we are leaving Dawson, West Virginia and heading to Mount, Na Mount Airy, North Carolina. So we're going to cross into Virginia and then cross into North Carolina. So I will check in later. Bye. So it was a little foggy when we left this morning, but I love that shot. That's just beautiful. And now we're back on the curved roads that bend and we don't know what's around the corner. This was a little nerve-wracking at times. And now we're through a tunnel and we are entering into Virginia. But it was so green and like just beautiful. But never been to this area before and I had to get all these roads because like they just... I'm not used to so many curves up and down and around. And, but we made it to Mount Airy, which is the home of Andy Griffith. And so we went to the small Andy Griffith Museum. And this is what he set the show, the Andy Griffith show, the town of Mayberry is set on this place. And the town has really taken advantage of that theme, as you will see going further. So this is inside the museum. And they had clips from the Andy Griffith Show playing, and that is a model of his home. You could take a tour in the car, but we did not do that. And then we just walked the streets around downtown and did a little bit of shopping. Okay, so we have arrived and this is when you first walk in. This is the Affordable Suites in Graham, North Carolina. And then we've got a bathroom. And then the bedroom. It just, a view of the highway, but you can't hear it at all. So, I don't know if you can even see that. Not really. Yeah, so the highway's like right there. But, so, not bad. It is now day four. We are heading off to the North Carolina Zoo in Asheboro, North Carolina. Um, we're just dry leaving the hotel, heading there, taking a little scenic tour apparently. Not a highway. <laughs> so, We'll see how it goes. We have arrived at the zoo. Get a shot of the community to be some. It's definitely a little bit walking. We've seen three animals so far and I feel like I've walked miles.
Okay, recap of the day. So we spent the day at North Carolina Zoo and we got there, I don't know, 10.30ish? Left about 4.30ish, I think. And what are your thoughts? Oh, I enjoyed it. There was a lot of walking. And sometimes you'd see an animal, sometimes you wouldn't, <laughs> but uh, it, was, it was a very good zoo, yes. Would you go back? Sure. Then go back again. You know, yeah. while. <laughs> yeah, we'll wait a few weeks. <laughs> Maybe a few weeks or years, but yeah, yeah I'd go back. Absolutely. Yes. So it was good. It was just, yes, a lot of walking in between the exhibits, but it is the largest, like, kind of land mass zoo for North America. So, I mean, it's kind of <laughs> expected to be a lot of walking at a zoo right between all the exhibits but it was hot and needed lots of fluid yeah but every half hour you need some to drink <laughs> but they did have water bottle stations to fill mm -hmm. not the coldest water but it was there yeah it was lukewarm water there you go <laughs> but yes it was really good and so that was our day and then we got back to the car and was like okay ac on max <laughs> and now we are back at the hotel room and just going to relax for the evening before we get ready for another day. If you're ever there and you're really, really warm, just go to the polar bear exhibit. It is nice and cool in that area. It was freezing in that area. <laughs> oh, it felt like heaven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was our day. All right, take care. It is day five now. And we are making our way to Charlotte. And what are we doing in Charlotte? Mustang Museum. I figured he would remember that. <laughs> so yes, we're going to the Mustang Museum. And after the museum, where are we going? Billy Graham Library. Wow, he listened. <laughs> yes, that is. Smiling. <laughs> that is the plan for today. So we are just making our way to Charlotte. We are now at the Mustang Owners Museum and we learned that all the cars in this museum are owned by individuals and they donate it to the museum for exhibit and they switch out every six months or so. So each time you go, like if you go every six months, you would see different vehicles. And Andrew had a really long conversation with the guy that was just cleaning the cars. And he really enjoyed his time here. Andrew did, yes. So then we went to the Bill Graham Library, which has the homestead and the main exhibit. Hello there. Good see you come. My name is Beth. Thank you for stopping by for a visit. I'm certainly delighted to have you here. Please stand clear. The doors are now closing. Good news! That God loves you and is willing to forgive you and change you. He was God. So you take what they call the journey of faith and it goes through different rooms through this building. 
with different parts of Billy Graham's ministry. And this one right here is around the Berlin Wall. He was there when it came down. And so they have a whole exhibit about it. And then out in the gardens, it's where Billy and his wife Ruth are buried, along with some members of the team who are buried on the grounds. <laughs> At the South Carolina Welcome Center. <laughs> the highway is insane right now. Okay, so we have made it to our hotel for the night and we are staying at the Claritin Point in Rock Hill, South Carolina. So it's just outside Charlotte. And traffic, Charlotte was bad. But I mean, it was also six o'clock. We were driving through the interstate and it was, oh, it was crazy. Backed up, just insane. Anyways, we are at our hotel now, going to relax for the evening. And this is what it looks like. So let's start with the bathroom. Nice granite countertop. And 10, we're on a Olympics speed skating, speed biking, I, cycling, thank you. <laughs> speed you're biking. Welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, so very basic, but very nice, very clean, and very up to date. And, and it smells good. <laughs> Unlike the other place. But anyways, this place, much better. So when I looked it up, it had been newly renovated. So The other one hadn't been renovated since the 90s. And I will say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'll say bye. Bye. It is now day six and we are driving to the Myrtle Beach area. We are just stopped at a rest stop right now. We've already driven a few hours. Um, so yeah, so that is today's plan and we are in the Myrtle Beach area for the next three nights. So let's see what we get up to. Hopefully, hopefully something good. Well, we went to a car museum. So I think in Andrew's mind, that is something good. Actually, I know that's something good. Andrew is obsessed with vehicles. And this was a collection of 51 cars privately owned by one guy. And this is not his whole collection. Apparently he has others in different barns around, just not on display. And we spent a good couple hours here. And then we went to a bookstore. My world. And I still think about this bookstore. I think I'm gonna get these three. I think. They're all five dollars. Every book, fiction book in the store was five dollars and they're all brand new. Yeah. <laughs> there are some I like, oh, I should have picked that book up when I saw it. <laughs> So we have made it to our hotel in Merle's Inlet. This is the Inlet Sports Lodge. And look, we have like a full kitchen, like full size fridge, little miniature dishwasher, small table, two chairs, couch, 
queen bed. And then this is the bathroom. Ooh, that is a huge sink. Wow. Hi. And I have no idea what's even in. Okay, closet. And another closet. So yeah, this is our home for the next three nights. Not the best view. Well, hey, look, it's our vehicle. Mm -hmm. And down there's like a goes down into the courtyard. Is this the... mm -hmm. It's pretty cool, eh? Ooh, nice place. Oh, we can go up there, Andrew. At the pool? Mm -hmm. We are checking in for days seven and eight, Friday and Saturday. We have spent the past two days in the Myrtle Beach area. Really, Myrtle's Inlet is where we're staying. We leave tomorrow. So the last two days, we have gone to Brook Green Gardens, which is a garden sculpture park zoo, and also has a few tours that you can do. So we did the creek excursion, which took us down past a couple plantations and kind of learned history of the area. Um, what else have we done? We also saw alligators and some, for the first time they said they've never seen dolphins, but on that trip we uh, saw dolphins, so that was pretty cool. It was very, very quick though, kind of saw the fin and so I didn't get any video of it, <laughs> but we know we saw them. <laughs> Um, then we, last night, we drove down by the beach um, in, I want to say it's called Garden City, Surfside, one of those two areas, I can't remember now. Um, and we were able to walk on the beach, so we got some video about that and the pier. Uh, today we drove in the Polly's Inlet area, Polly's Island area, and then we drove down to Myrtle Beach itself. Um, not really by the big amusement boardwalk part, but the other part of Myrtle Beach. Um, that's about our time here, I think. So I've got some video that I'll put after this clip. And kind of, and then tomorrow we head off to Asheville, North Carolina. So that's it for now. All right, we'll talk to you later, bye. So we went to Brook Green Gardens and when you get a ticket, your ticket is good for seven days. So we went two days to use it. And here is the start of the Creek Excursion. This is an extra ticket to go on to, but that's the boat that we went on and we drove up that creek. And this is through some of the rice plant or past what was some of the rice plantations and our guide was just telling us about the history of the area and it this was just it was beautiful it was a calm day saw a couple gators you kind of see them there mm -hmm. and then we just walked some of the gardens area so this was just a boardwalk that was through and you could overlook some of the rice plantations None of the buildings are still around, but they just have the field. And 
we had beautiful weather the first day we went here and I'm so glad we did all this on the first day because it had rained Saturday morning so mosquitoes were really bad Saturday when we got here so we thankfully we went through the zoo on the Friday and the mosquitoes were not bad at all I just like watching them and watching this guy. Yeah. They're really pretty animals. And it was peaceful to walk through here and calm. That's pretty cool. They're so cool. When we got to the eagle area, the volunteer was there doing the feeding. So we washed her feet, throw the food to the eagle, and then him feed. And we did get to see that for a couple of the other birds that were in that area as well. And then of course we had to get a picture of another gator, right? <laughs> So it is a sculpture garden, so they have these sculptures all over the place. I don't know, I can't remember the exact size of the gardens themselves, but it was just, it was beautiful to just walk around and look at them and see, and the way the gardens are landscaped, like I just, it was so peaceful and so relaxing. And I could have spent more time here, you know, just walking around.
So after supper, we went to the beach and just had to see the ocean, right? We couldn't come to Myrtle Beach and not see the ocean. So this is Garden City, heading back towards our hotel after visiting the beach. And then we saw the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. So this is about 10 o'clock in the morning. You can see kind of the puddles on the ground because it had just rained. So the sky is gray because it was still chance of rain for most of the day. Mm -hmm. The Marsh Walk is really well known for restaurant life and nightlife. And we just really enjoy just walking the peacefulness of it and watching the bird kept us entertained. And this is Polly's Island. And just to drive some of it, you see kind of all the I don't even know what that's called, just the grass field, but it's not, like it's wild grass. I don't know what it's actually, and then, so it's in all the creek marsh. Marsh grasses, I guess, is probably what it's called. <laughs> 